The bulk scheduled billing update utility allows users to adjust scheduled billing amounts on multiple resident accounts all at once. Navigate to the utility by clicking on the administration link, followed by the bulk functions menu, and then the bulk scheduled billing update link. The bulk scheduled billing update window will appear. Begin by entering the charge code in the transaction code field. This charge can be rent, upgrade, amenity, any scheduled billing charge code. Then identify if the amount you would like to adjust is for the current scheduled billing or for the future scheduled billing, for example, for renewals. Then, if necessary, adjust the frequency or the subjournal. If your property does not have subjournals, you will not see this option. If you would only like to work with particular units, you can adjust the filter on the units to identify just a particular unit. If you would like to work with all units, keep the default all units. Once the criteria is properly identified, click the Build List button, and the system will generate a list of residents matching your criteria. The list that displays below can be sorted by name, or by building unit, or by any of the other available columns. The next step will be to enter the amount that their scheduled billing should be changed to. Then select the residents that require this change. You can either select all to select every single resident, or you can do a multi-select and select just a couple of residents. Once all the desired residents have been selected, click the Update button, and the new amount will be shown in the column all the way to the right. If the new amount is correct, click the Post and Print button. You will receive a pop-up warning. Click the Continue button to proceed, and a Print List option will appear. Click the Close button on the right, and you'll be returned to the update window. If you're done, hit cancel. You can confirm all of your changes were properly updated by reviewing the scheduled billing forecast report found on page two of the accounts receivable section. Generate the report, enter in the transaction beginning date, click generate, review your report and your affected residents. You will also always want to confirm that the changes were accurately updated in your fall lease and renewal log reports. But remember, that report won't be updated until the following day and only if your property date advances.